Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 3D bar graph in PowerPoint, which looks something like this. When I click, the title A will open and the option, the text will appear there. Same with B, C and D. So without wasting much time, let's start how we can do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and go to view menu, enable the guides, go to insert tab, shapes, select a rectangle and draw the rectangle and make it no outline make it align center align middle go back to insert tab again shapes select this one which is diamond shape and draw the diamond shape make it no outline and give some different color and align it exactly press ctrl D just make a duplicate file zoom out and select both the objects and under format tab go to merge and say union I'm going to take this one press ctrl D and I'm going to add it here and bring exactly at this point and select the rectangle shape and the diamond shape go to format merge shape and select subtract all right duplicate this object by pressing ctrl D and give a different color and bring it exactly on top of that and go to insert shapes select a rectangle and exactly i'm going to cut the shape into half select this object first and the rectangle go to merge shape and say subtract all right now select both the shapes and press ctrl d and I'm going to cut this shape go to insert shape select rectangle you can make a duplicate copy as well select the rectangle and this new shape go to merge and subtract the same thing I'm going to do for the other rectangle merge shape and subtract all right now I can give some different color but before that press ctrl D and exactly bring it here all right align it properly and give some different color options I'm just going to give some different color options here go to fill gradient fill just delete the other points I'm just keeping both two points only so for this I'm going to give some say more colors standard and maybe a purple select the other way around and this one I'm going to give some light color all right the same thing goes here as well i can just select this home format painter and so this also i'm going to give a 3d effect which is go to shadow 3d format and on the top we will select this option which is soft round you can see this one right I'll select both the options all the three options and bring it here go to format and say send to back all right and i'm just going to select all these three objects and group it so if i can just i can make it inside like this so 
I'm going to change this color somewhat lighter color I need gradient but light colors Just change the other way around. So this also gradient and all right. This instead of blue, I'm going to use the same a purple color or maybe this this color is better. All right. Now you can give the text here. Before that one, if you want to do animation, you can just add animation. So bring it inside. By pressing the arrow key. And go to animations. Enable the animation pane. And in the add animation. Under motion path, select lines. And effect, you make it right okay select the arrow and just bring this till here all right now if you see here if i play this will come till this point only this is perfectly all right if you want to give some more animation effect like i want to give some bounds end i can just increase this one and timing you want medium or fast or let it be fast so if you see here so it's giving some bouncing effect as well here in this one you can add the text here which I did like this so and with the if you have the icon you can just add the icon I'm just bringing it here for example all right and apart from that I'm just going to select everything and bring it down and then you can group it the moment i group it what will happen is the animation will go so you have to do all the bars and then do the animation one by one so i'm just pressing the control d now i'm bringing it here and you can just reduce the the size which is maybe this one the other one just this send to back and later on we can just give some Space. shadow effects as well for example if I give the shadow effect here go to format and shadow you can just add some shadow effect here you can see this shadow here all right Similarly, I'm just going to select one more and I'm going to increase the size and press Ctrl D and this I'm going to reduce the size. So if you want to make it four options or five options, it's up to you. So if you see here, this is how it will work. Option A and the title will appear here title B, title C and title D. Now let's do the animation. So I'm just going to select first of all you have to ungroup it and select this one go to animation add animation select the lines and this line should go to the right side right and just by holding the shift key bring it till this point all right so i'm going to do a similar thing first ungroup this select this option add animation lines and again this also to the right side select the arrow and maybe till this part and apart from that you have to just uh, change the color for each and every the uh, object 
and then you can add some text here for that I'm just going to add some text go to insert text box I'll just say title a type your description here okay this should come this should appear after this once the animation is done for the first object so select this object go to animation pane and select appear and this you bring it to this point and say with previous timing maybe half a second delay so if you see here all right then the second will come so it's very uh, medium you can make it fast so once you have done your animation will look something like this all right so that's it from me friends hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel OS VFX. see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye okay this should come this should appear after this once the animation is done for the first object so select this object go to animation pane and select appear and this you bring it to this point and say with previous timing maybe half a second delay so if you see here all right then the second will come so it's very uh, medium you can make it fast so once you have done your animation will look something like this all right so that's it from me friends hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel OS VFX. see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye